and I still didn't learn how to 3D model. And today I'm going to show you how you can create artworks like these in probably less than five minutes. Hey, my name is Timo, I'm a freelance designer and I'm also known under my artist name, The Kates, on Instagram and on YouTube. Many of you guys on Instagram probably know me from doing all the artworks for, yeah, for different brands. We worked with Puma and brands like Ausla, different music channels. We did an artwork for Skrillex, stuff like that. If you know me from YouTube, then you probably know me as the person who created all the visualizers for the music channels, probably all of them. <laughs> it's quite, it was quite crazy. Um, I'm going to show you a secret that people ask me for almost one year how I make these. And yeah, today I'm going to share this secret with you. And I'm also giving away my texture pack so you can also recreate these scenes exactly like how I made them. So let's give it a quick render. Let's turn on the lights and set it to one. And this is what we're going to create today. This insanely detailed building with plants growing all over it. Actually, we're not going to create the plants because there's a plugin, but we're, today we're going to focus on the building. So let's turn off the plants. And as you can see, it looks quite detailed and it's all 3D as you can see. We can move around, we can zoom in. You can even like change the lights. So if we turn these off, then let's create our own. Actually, let's make this one dark as well. And we're gonna move it up. We're gonna bring it here. And then, <laughs> so bright, it's like a laser. And then we're gonna bring it all the way up. And, oh, should we make some, some cyberpunk? There you are, <laughs> cyberpunk. <laughs> Actually, that's really how people make cyberpunk. They use uh, a purple light and a blue light, and then they just rotate it a little bit and move it maybe in this direction and then make the blue one a little bit darker. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how they get there. But yeah, you, you get the idea. This is what we're going to create today. And actually, it's very easy. Let's put a white material on the geometry to show you how easy it actually is. See, I'm terrible at modeling, insanely terrible. And in order to prove you, we're just gonna delete this. We're gonna save it again, give it a really meaningful name. And we're just gonna rebuild it from scratch. All right, and there we are, we have our first cube. And what can we do with this beautiful cube? Maybe we first stretch it a little bit and make it a little bit wider. Then press, no, don't press this one, press E on the keyboard and do something like this. And then press D on the keyboard and do something like this. See? Maybe extrude this one a little bit. Just a little bit. Or maybe this one. Maybe like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to create a new shader. Put it on the cube. Set it to cubic. And we're going to select our, our magic fancy material. So as you can see, I have a couple different materials here. They are all quite cool. For our tutorial, we're going to use the same one that, that we used in the preview image, which is this color. We load it in and you see it already looks quite interesting. Just make sure that it fits your geometry a little bit more. I would say like this. And then we're gonna add a displacement map. We're gonna use the displacement channel from our 
nice texture. Set it to 248 by 248. And we're gonna set the extrude mode to the heights, I think it's called, to six. And we're also gonna copy this texture and put it into our bump channel. And then we can also turn on, we can, we can change the material to glossy. <laughs> you get all the fancy lens flares. Maybe make it a little bit rougher so we get some shine here. Maybe turn it up a little bit. And then in the specular channel, we're going to use this reflection texture. And if you turn off the diffuse, you can see that it only affects a few certain windows. And that's it. We are there. Now you can have fun with this. You can like move the light in a way that you like. See? All the air conditioning units and all the buildings, everything is extruded. So you get these nice shadows here. We can really like go in here, focus the camera a little bit more. And you can see it looks quite cool. And then you can do stuff like this. Press E again, which is my favorite key on the keyboard. Um, maybe we also already intruded, maybe extrude this and then make it smaller again and extrude it even further. And maybe then we have to move the texture down a little bit. But you see, you get this really cool building in less than a minute. Okay, maybe less than two minutes. And you can do crazy stuff with it. So you can put it on this here, set it to cubic again. You always have to adjust it to the size. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And this one a little bit bigger. And see, you have a crazy building very easily. Or let's say we can also round this one here and it should warp around the edges. See, it's quite cool. Pretty cool. And then play a little bit with the lights. Maybe like this and reduce the displacement. And yeah, to make it a lot nicer, you can add some neon signs. So just create a few cubes, make them really narrow and just drag them here. Of course, they're way too big, but yeah, you get the idea. Then you place a few uh, neon signs there. You put like a, a, a neon texture on it or some glowy material and you have a really, really interesting scene. But yeah, you get the idea. It's very easy to create a building with this uh, material. And I'm going to show you a different one. So this was building number six. Number, which one was it? Number three is also really nice. So let's load in the texture. Let's load in the specular channel. Three here, this one. Let's also load in the bump map, which is this one. And let's load in the displacement, which is this one. And you see, you get a really interesting scene. What you can do with this material here is you can make the scene very dark, maybe like this. That's pretty dark. Yeah, maybe a little bit darker. Maybe like this and change it from glossy to diffuse, create a texture emission. And then you load in the lights here, set the surface, set it to surface brightness, make it a little bit darker and see we have some pretty cool buildings for our scene. And then you can start from there. You can, you can add, um, you can add plants that grow over the building, neon signs. You can create some crazy geometry, um, spaceships, whatever. Or maybe those buildings are just a backdrop. 
in the background. That could be cool too. But yeah, you get the idea. So that's the whole trick. So those are my textures and you can create them yourself if you have a lot of time. Um, the way that I created them. I actually, um, in 2017, I lived in Korea. I moved to Seoul and I had a small apartment there because I wanted to improve my Korean. And I brought my camera and I took pictures of really cool buildings. This one was actually the building right next to mine. And yeah, Korea looked really, really interesting for, um, for our architecture. We also went to Hong Kong and took some pictures of the really old buildings in Kowloon. And yeah, this is just my personal collection that I collected over the years. And I've been using them a lot, almost in every of my artworks. I'm, um, if you don't want to travel to Korea and like take pictures, prepare them, paint the displacement map, the reflection map and everything, you can also purchase them because I decided to give these six textures from my pack away. And I'm giving them away on my website, which is called artlabs.io. And yeah, you can get them from here. Here are a few examples of the artworks that I made using these textures. So this one was very easy to make. It actually just took me about 30 minutes, I think even less. This one was also really cool. And the funny thing is this artwork was um, trending on Reddit a year ago. It was on the front page and then all these different um, brand branded channels picked it up like Hypebeast and uh, Tax Collection. They all reposted this. It was really cool. And yeah, those are the different textures which are in this pack. So I think this one is number one. Yeah, you can see the red lights. This is really just a flat um, flat geometry with the, with the texture on top of it. And yeah, this one as well. This is the one that I just showed you. Yeah, you can get them and yeah, it will save you a lot of time with your workflow. All right, I hope you learned something today and I hope that a few of you will also check out my website and maybe get the pack. I would love to see what you what you come up with. Like if you use them and if you create artworks, feel free to shoot me a DM and, and show me the, the artworks that you create with it because I will share every single one of them. Thank you so much.